I've never spoken about a pair of headphones like this before on the channel, but I think it's time. These are the Sony XM5 noise cancelling headphones, and these are the Sony, let me get this right, the Sony MDR MV1. And the difference between the Sony XM5s and these is that the MDR MV1 have the word professional on the headband. And Sony Professional got in touch a little while ago to say, do you want to check out the MDR MV1s? To which I said, Maybe. And the reason I said maybe is because, generally speaking, you guys want to see me talk about noise cancelling over-ear headphones, the consumer stuff. And equally, me being a click-grabbing and attention-seeking content creator, do I really want to feature something on this channel that may not get many clicks? Well, the answer is yes, because these are absolutely fantastic, and I think there's an argument to say that if you're thinking about buying a pair of noise cancelling headphones, you may not need them. You might need something like this instead. And indeed, if you're watching this video now, either one, you want a pair of pro headphones, or two, you're just curious. So what I'll attempt to do in this video is cover both of those camps. Wish me luck. In my mind, pro headphones are for making music, for mixing and mastering music, for editing podcasts, video work, basically anything where you need a true representation of the audio that you're listening to. And the reason that you don't get that on something like the XM5s is because they've been EQ'd, they've been tuned for the mass market, and they have a certain sound signature. So the bass might be boosted, the mid-range might be more pronounced or dipped. That isn't a true representation of the record or the movie or whatever it is that was first made by the sound engineer. It's not how it sounded in the studio. Headphones like the MV, I can't get this name wrong, the MDR MV1 aren't. They have a much flatter sound signature. In fact, it's not even a sound signature, it's just a flat EQ profile. So what you hear on these cans is a very, very close representation of whatever it is you're listening to. So for instance, if you're EQing a drum part on a song, you're getting a very good idea of exactly how that sounds on these headphones. And in theory, those changes and the judgments you make based on the sound from these cans should play well elsewhere. And I've been through so many different pairs of pro headphones, from the likes of Rode to Bayer Dynamic to Mackie and lots of others, basically. I've never used a pair of Sony for some reason. I've, I've never tried Sony professional headphones until now. So the MDR MV1 retail at just over £400 in the UK, but there are some retailers who have knocked off quite a bit from that price if you shop around. About £379 was the price that I found most commonly. They're open back headphones, which means, shock horror, the sound can leak out of here. And obviously that doesn't happen on headphones like the XM5s or most consumer headphones because they have closed backs. The reason that's important on pro headphones like the MDM MV1 is because it means the internal reflections and the acoustic resonances that you get from closed back headphones aren't there. And that improves the accuracy, it makes the performance better, it gives you a more natural sound. It's everything you want from a pair of headphones like this. And as Sony says, these are designed for critical listening, so you can't have things like a closed back design getting in the way of that. When it comes to the rest of the specs, they've got 40 millimeter driver units, they've got a frequency response of between 5 hertz and 80 kilohertz. The impedance is 24Q at 1 kilohertz. They're compatible with both high-res audio and spatial sound. They've got breathable lightweight ear pads and a detachable cable with a quarter inch jack and a 3.5 millimeter adapter. In terms of what you don't get with these compared to the XM5s, there's no Bluetooth and no wireless connectivity at all. You have to plug these in. There's no case, there's no mic for taking telephone calls, there's no digital assistant like and there's no super clever integration with your phone because there's no Bluetooth. So why on earth would you consider something like these over the XM5s? Let's start with sound. If you've never listened to a pair of Pro headphones before, it can take some getting used to because, as mentioned earlier, they have that flat EQ profile. So whereas something like the XM5 might sound exciting out of the box, that's because they've been tuned for the mass market. These haven't. I'll tell you what though, the MDR MV1s are the least flat sounding headphones out of all of the Pro headphones that I've used. So they've got that really wide sound stage, they've got the flat response, which gives you the confidence that you're mixing things correctly. But in addition to that, they've got really deep 
rich, detailed bass, which in my experience is quite difficult to get on these Pro headphones. The mid-range is nice, the top end is nice and sparkly without being too much. They somehow mix this kind of almost consumer sounding EQ with a flat response. It's very hard to explain. I just found myself enjoying these with regular music much quicker than, say, the Bayer Dynamics DT770 Pro. In this day and age, it's nice to know they've got the spatial audio support. Now, I've never mixed anything in spatial audio, so I haven't tested that on these, but the fact they have that is very relevant for today. Now the XM5s are a very light pair of headphones, but these are another level. They are ridiculously lightweight and they are so comfortable. This is a really important thing when it comes to pro headphones because typically you'll be wearing these for long periods of time and if they're not very comfy, they're gonna fatigue very quickly. But the combination of that lightness, which is just ridiculous, it, it doesn't feel like they're on my head at the moment. The combination of that and these very soft ear cups is an absolute joy. In terms of the design, they're a very classic professional looking pair of headphones but they've got they've got a presence about them they've got that kind of sony thing going on which i really like and they feel well made as well so even though they're very light they do feel like they could put it with quite a bit of stick which generally speaking unfortunately pro headphones do they get chucked about and dropped and all sorts and i don't worry about these at all now a case would be nice. I think that's a little bit of a miss, but having said that, these are gonna stay in your studio or in your office or at home somewhere. One thing I will say though, is that the cable is lovely. And it's lovely for a couple of reasons. The first one is that it's just a lovely cable. It's nice and tough, feels good. And also you get two connections. So you get the quarter jack and also the 3.5 millimeter adapter. And for the headphone end, you get this lovely little tightening thing on here. So we plug in the cable like that, tighten it up and bosh. Despite all this, you're probably still wondering why on earth you would buy these over a pair of noise cancelling headphones, which I'll get onto in a second. But first, I just want to talk about the role these are playing in this studio. First up, we have this editing station, which is where I edit these YouTube videos. I need to monitor myself. I need to make sure they sound as good as possible. And headphones play a massive role. In fact, they play the only role in that. This is where they'll spend most of their time, plugged into my MacBook Pro, which is there, and on my head, listening to myself ramble on. Then we have this desk, which is designated as the music production area. Not much music production has happened here thus far, but I do have big plans for it. And once again, I need a pair of accurate headphones to monitor the stuff that I'm creating. So again, the Sonys will play a massive role on this desk and also while I'm making music on the iPad Pro, which again is another project you will see a lot more of on this channel. Then we have this desk, which is the desk that I've been talking to you from for most of this video, but it's also used for the podcast. So the 8 or 16 podcast is recorded on this desk and I use it for my live streams on the Solo Club channel and occasionally on this one. So once again, I need a decent pair of headphones to monitor myself. Okay, fair enough. My use cases for these headphones are pretty pro, I get that. But I still think there's a case for these if you're not a professional. Firstly, if your headphones never leave the house, then do you really need a pair of Bluetooth headphones? If you love the convenience of Bluetooth, fair enough. But equally, if you're sat in the same chair every day listening to those headphones, wouldn't you rather benefit from the things that you get from having a wire? You'll get better sound, you'll get access to lossless audio, proper lossless audio, not the high-res wireless stuff. And and you'll have zero latency, which okay, if you're listening to music doesn't matter, but if you delve into video production or definitely music production, you do not want a delay between the stuff on the screen happening and it reaching your ears. And also with a pair of Bluetooth headphones, there's loads of stuff built into them, loads of gubbins, batteries and things, which makes them relatively heavy. These don't have any of that, which makes them incredibly light, which again, if you're wearing them in the same place every single day, every week, do you want anything weighing you down? And if you're one of the countless people who's now making music on the iPad or your Mac, don't you want to hear your stuff properly? Now granted, you're not saving money buying these over most noise cancelling headphones because they sit in the same bracket really, but again, you get all of those benefits if you don't need the stuff that comes with a pair of Bluetooth headphones. I really think there's a use case for these headphones. And if you're still watching this video, clearly you do as well. So come on guys, what is tempting you with these? Why are you still watching this at the deep end? Let me know in the comments. And if you want some more headphone content, keep watching for a link.